Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced on Wednesday a $50 million humanitarian aid package for Gaza. Al Jazeera publishes distressing footage showing the bodies of displaced Palestinian women, children and babies believed to have been executed by Israel at a school in Gaza where they sheltered. And finally, fan leaders from 20 AFC Asian Cup qualifying countries ended their tour of Qatar on Wednesday. Hey everyone, it's Fakhria for the Roundup and here are today's top stories. A communique published on Wednesday by Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs revealed that the state has pledged a $50 million humanitarian aid package for, quote, those affected by the Israeli aggression on the Gaza Strip. The ministry's announcement follows Qatar's participation at a high-level segment of the second global refugee forum held in Geneva on Wednesday. There, Lua bint Rashid al Khatir, Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation, said the humanitarian assistance will support Palestinian refugees, displaced people, the wounded, and orphans. The Qatari diplomat announced on Wednesday that the Education Above All Foundation's Il Fakhoura program will offer a hundred scholarships for Palestinian youth to finish their education in Doha. And now, in footage released by Al Jazeera on Wednesday, the bodies of displaced Palestinian women, children and babies are seen piled up inside Gaza's Shadia Ebu Ghazala school just west of Jabalia refugee camp. According to an eyewitness, quote, the Israeli forces entered classrooms and opened fire on a woman and all the children who were with her, even the newborn babies among them, end quote. Another witness noted that despite dozens of bodies being found, there wasn't signs of either missiles or shells, which led Al Jazeera to conclude that Israeli shot them at point-blank range. And finally, fan leaders from 20 AFC Asian Cup qualifying countries have ended their tour in the run-up to the Games to be held in Qatar. 27 representatives from countries such as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Oman and South Korea, among so many others, took part in a rigorous program to learn about Qatari culture. And that's it for today. For more information, make sure to check out the website or download the app.